Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be something that I'm going to start doing on a regular basis. It's going to be reviews. So today I am reviewing the uh, Tarte Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette as well as the two lip paints. So I'm going to tell you why I love this palette and as well as why I love the lip colors. So let's get started. Okay, so the palette comes in this box right here. Honestly, packaging-wise, it is on freaking point. I mean, it's just so freaking adorable. I mean, the little gator with the, with the angel wings. I mean, that's too cute. That's way bunny. So you have the graveyard girl and the swamp queen right here in this, like, really metalized gold packaging or the fonting. And I absolutely love it. Also, the box itself has, like, this wood texture. And I mean, it's... I'm from the south, y'all. This is awesome. Like, I think this is just so southern and so cute. And also, on the back, you're going to have all the information about Graveyard Girl right here and all the um, ingredients on the inside as well. Like I said, Tar is one of my favorite brands. They're always formulated without mineral oil, parabens, sodium, laurel, sulfate, gluten. Also, I'm going to not read all the rest because I don't want to sound like a dumbass. So, anyways, there's a cute bunny, a picture of bunny right there. So on the inside, not only do you get the palette itself, you also get a little tutorial of how to's on the inside as well. So pretty much just for you to learn how to do basic day and night looks as well in the palette. So enough with that. Let's go on with the palette itself. Are you guys ready? So here it is right here. And are we ready to open it? It is so cute, people. Like, I'm serious. Like, I know this has been out for a while, and I really hope that it's still in stock for most of you guys. I know it's been selling out like crazy. I'm just going to say that I got my hands on one of them, as well as the lip paints, and I absolutely love it. Um, I will say that this is an amazing palette. And so let's just dive into this bad boy. So on the top it says, Believe in yourself, love yourself, embrace your individuality which I think is really cute and really good to stand by, especially on a palette. I mean, it's really cute. This has like a really nice gold reflection palette, uh, packaging, as well as a really nice mirror as well. So onto that, you get a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. By the way, this highlighter is bomb. And also, you get a little brush. The brush itself is actually really soft and really nice. And then you get the nine shades of eyeshadow. Now. Just before I sw uh, show you guys the swatches of this, I will tell you this right now. Like, the best shades in this freaking palette. Not only is it the Gator Wings highlighter, but Sassy Bun, Dog Man, and Sippy Sippy are my absolute freaking favorites from this palette. Like, they are so amazing. And as you can see from my eyes today, I am wearing Sippy Sippy and Dog Man, and I'm wearing Gator Wings on the inner corner, so... Hope you guys can see that. I mean, I think it's really pretty. By the way, I will be doing a tutorial on this palette. I'm going to be doing it in a separate video. I'm going to be doing a full face tart video, a full face tutorial of a tart, and this will be the palette I will be using on my face. So let's just get right into the swatches. Okay, so as you can see from left to right, I swatched the cheek colors. You get Sweet Tea, which is this amazingly orangey bronzer. You get Does This Thing Really Work, which is a really nice blush color. It's very pigmented. And you also get Gator Wings, which is an amazing, amazing highlighter. I mean, look at that bitch. So from left to right, you have Man Cat, Sippy Sippy, which is one of my favorites, Dog Man, another favorite, Uncommon, Sassy Bun, Natural Peaches, Haunting, Big Baby, which you can't really see on camera because it is very pale colored and hashtag SFS. So all in all, the palette is just gorgeous, honestly. And I will say this, pigmentation wise, it's very rich. It's very creamy, it's very buttery, it's very amazing. There's no chalkiness to it. And I mean, it smells like vanilla. I mean, that's something new with Tarte. I love the smell. I just, I just love this palette. Like, I really will love it. I reach towards this palette more than, like, the Tarte Lint Bloom, which I used, I usually wear on a day-to-day -day basis when I want to do, like, a more natural look. 
as you can see, I'm very not natural. I'm very bam, bam in your face, which I love. That's just my personality. So, like I said, the palette itself, it just has so many amazing things you could do with it. So many daytime looks, nighttime looks, evening looks. It's just, it's just fan freaking tastic, and I just love what they've done with this palette. I mean, Bunny is an, is a YouTuber who is here on YouTube as well. So I will say that she is amazingly funny. I watch her videos every so often whenever I can. And Sippy Sippy and Sassy Bun are definitely very her, and I absolutely love her. Um, I love watching her videos. I've been watching her for a, a little while now. So when this collection came out, I was really happy to be able to pick it up myself. Um, so if you're watching this, I love you. So anyways, um, all in all, this palette, I will say nothing disappoints me with it. Pigmentation's fantastic. Colors are fantastic. Very wearable, very doable. But I will tell you this right now before I go on to the next thing. This bronzer and this blush are very fucking pigmented. The smallest, the smallest amount is all you can use for each cheek. I swear to God, the smallest amount. So be very cautious about that. So now we're going to go on to the lips. So here's the packaging that they come in. I have both the red and the nude shade. Um, honestly, same thing. The packaging is very freaking cute. Same texture as well. Has a little bunny signature on the bottom. And of course, they're just adorable. So moving on to that, these are the colors. And as you can see today, I am wearing the red on my lip. This one is the Swamp Family Red. And I will be swatching these for you as well, just so you can see. And I mean, just this color. This, let me just make the swatch perfect for you. I mean, this color is phenomenal. I mean, I just absolutely love it. And also, the one thing about these uh, lip paints as well, they are a matte formula. They do not dry all the way down, so there still is a little bit of transfer. I will say that I wish that they did dry a little bit down more, but I do like that they are moisturizing for every day. Um, they do not feel drying. They do not feel heavy on the lip. All I know is that w if you do eat oils or anything like that, it will come off. Um, I, I would say not eating eating with them because for me they do run off. But if you wear a lip liner with them, which I am today, it's better. It's like bomb as fuck. Like I will tell you this right now. Like once you put a lip liner on with this shit, it won't come off. It's not coming off for me. I love it. And then also just letting you know as well, this red, the Swamp Family, was online exclusive. Um, my store that I work at did get them in stock in store. I was like, okay, that's odd. So I was like really happy about that. I was like, I don't have to go online. So anyways, so I will say that this one is an amazing shade. It is very comparable to the Bay shade that they already have in the Tarte line. This one just has a little bit more, I think, blue base to it. So that's the only difference between the two. And then we also have the nude shade. This one is Texas Toast. This is the first thing I picked up from the collection. And I love it. I swear to God, this nude is like... Like, really, like, really, like, oh. like, I will just say that right now. I know that I've been saying that a lot in this collection, but it's it's so freaking true. So let me just swatch it right next to the Swamp Family. So there it is. This one is more like a gray base, like, gray beige nude. A grayish nude, uh, so some people would say. Um, I absolutely love it. If you look closely at it, it's very, very, like, purpley almost. But it still is a really nice nude, and it will work for everybody's skin type. I will say that the red will go on any one skin tone. This one will be a little bit lighter on deeper skin tones, but it's really dark on fairer skin tones, like, for me. But I will have to say both of them are really pigmented and really nice, really creamy. Staying power for them. For me, the nude is, like, a four-hour but I do get that ring around maybe around like one or two hours, depending on how many times I talk during the day, which is a lot. And then the red, the red has, uh, I feel like it's more of a five hour wear. Like I can wear both of them to work and it's perfect as hell. Like I don't have to touch it up. Um, the only times I would have to touch it up is if I eat something on my shift. So all in all, another thing with these is that I do like the Tarte lip paint formula. I just do wish that they were a little bit less transferable. But I will say that these are amazing colors. So color-wise, they're like a five-star to me. Because, I mean, they're just perfect shades. 
um, very wearable, very doable. This one's like a great night on the town. This one's very like office business lady. So it's very good for anybody if you want to try them out. Same thing with the palette. They're very versatile. The palette, there's some shades that are really, really, really light for deeper skin tones, but you can still wear them. Um, so all in all, I do think that the collection is very freaking amazing. And honestly, like congratulations to Bunny and to Tarte for creating a, such an amazing collection. And also, it has been selling out like crazy. The lipsticks and the palettes we have not been able to keep on shelves. I know that, um, and I know that also online, it's it should still be available, I hope. So for everybody who has a chance to get a hold of them, you should definitely get them. I mean, it is amazing as hell. Like, I will tell you that right now. So I actually was really excited about this collaboration. I have a few other palettes that I am going to review and I'm going to swatch and I'm going to do um, reviews on as well. So I hope that you guys look forward to that. So I love you guys and thank you guys so much for watching my videos again. I really appreciate it and of course I am going to do more videos for you guys very soon and I'm going to be doing a lot more reviews and a lot more uh, tutorials and everything like that throughout the throughout the year somewhat. I'm hoping to kind of get faster and faster with them as well. So I love you guys so much and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye. Okay, so the palette comes in this box right here. Honestly, packaging wise, it is on point. I mean, it is freaking adorable. So, almost smacked myself in the face with the box. <laughs>